In this video tutorial, we'll learn how to install a purchase program. As you can see here on my list, I have only one program currently installed. But I do have a new purchase program that I've downloaded. Click on install here at the lower right. And then I'm going to browse through my hard drive to find where I downloaded the system I purchased. And I'll open that. It'll come up with a licensing message, but once you update, everything should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update. And that'll take care of completing the license processing there. And it says complete. And we should be good to go with this newly installed program. OK, I've just installed transformations. Now we'll click on that. Let's see what the options are. We can edit the flash objects. Now these are all the little sayings that will flash on the screen as you have the program running. So we can go to any one of them and click on the little pencil icon and actually see what the choices are. And if you'd like, you can also change, you can delete, or just add a little something. Let's do that. Let's add a little something to one of the ones that's already there. Under I am safe, I'll go ahead and say and free from fear. Click on Save at the bottom right, and now we've saved that particular item to be a little bit different. All right, now we'll go back to our list of options. You have one for videos. Now, since these are videos, you can't actually edit each individual one, but you can delete, you can preview, or add new video files to this list. OK, we'll go back now and check out some more settings under the Audios area. Here's the list. You've got audio messages. You can change the volume. You can go ahead and change the actual files by clicking on the Edit. And now we'll see the actual list of files that are contained in that section. And if you want, you can add new files. If you have a place on your hard drive, let's just go ahead and choose that one. There you go. Calm.mp3 has been added to the list. And then clicking on Preview will let you hear each one of those. And you can also delete using the Delete option to the right when you've got any audio file selected there on the list. All right, we'll go back now. And there's one more section, the Sessions section, that we can take a look at. Very similar to the ones we just did. Edit is the pencil icon. Delete is the trash icon. You can sequence the sessions to start 60 minutes apart, whatever time frame you choose. Here you see the list of available task groups under this particular group session. And again, on the bottom, the standard things. You can preview, you can load a new one, you can save, or you can create your own. You can also choose a background audio file if you'd like to listen to something in the background as these sessions play. Just browse your hard drive and find the audio file of your choice to play in the background. We'll go ahead and leave the audio background blank for now. Let's check out one of these. We're going to edit the questions business success section. And you can see you have the option to actually change the question, to choose a different image, to choose how long the question should remain on screen. So all kinds of settings choices that you can make to have the program run exactly how you prefer. And I recommend that you go through here and just kind of Get a gauge for what you can do with each one of these. This is a task group named Questions Business Success. And you can go back, choose whichever ones you want, go ahead and edit those individually to meet your needs. All right, let's go back to our list of programs now. And as you can see here, if you wanted to that very first icon, Change, you could change the image that appears for the transformations. And we've gone through the editing process before in the previous section of this video. Now let's go ahead and choose that particular program. And here you see, when you select it from the drop-down menu and you click Play, that program will play. And any of the changes that you've made in that uh, settings area will now appear as you watch the program. And that completes this video on how to install a new program that you've purchased for your My Desktop Therapist software.